got another question for you today. Is it really that difficult for parents to enjoy watching their children play sports, whether it's the lower levels, middle school level, high school level? Is it really that difficult for us to allow them to learn the life lessons of playing sports and competing? Can we accept the fact that not every athlete is gonna make it to an elite level without demonstrating some habits as parents, as coaches, that says that means everything. That means more than your experience and your fun in sports. Is that the message we wanna send our children? Integrity in sports is almost gone. Why do I say that? Anytime you find implementation of a pay to play system, in little league sports, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, then it rises up into the middle school section of, uh, of sports. And then it really gets dynamic when it gets to the high school level. If I have to become a booster or fund the program for my child to play, that's a problem. What message are we sending to our children? What message are we sending to coaches, to schools? You know, I think that it's time that I might think about starting a GoFundMe for all the athletes who can't afford to pay a coach or a school money so that they can get on the field, whatever field it is, the court. When it comes down to the parent who donates the most money, who buys the scoreboard, who redoes the gym, who recreates and designs the football field, who buys the baseball uniforms, who buys the soccer uniforms? When it playing time comes down to those type of decisions, we can no longer talk to our children about integrity because it's all gone, it's all gone. When I can't go to my child, or you can't go to your child, your cousin, your nephew, whomever, and say the best man will always get a chance to play first. He deserves it, she deserves it. They've, you've worked your butt off, and that's how we're gonna define who plays. Not today, baby, not today. You better start looking for that GoFundMe sign to pop up real soon. We go fund for everything else. Now we got to start GoFunding for kids who can't pay because their parents can't pay or can't outmatch the donors, the givers, the parents who buy uniforms, the parents who do different things for the, for the administration or for the school. And then the worst part about it, the coaches accept it, the schools accept it, and then they tell, look the kids in their eyes and say, we're gonna play the best guys. Oh, is the best guy out there right now? You see it all across the country. You witness it every day. People are disguising talent for money. They're disguising it and they're trying to keep it on the down low. So when they come to you, you go to them and you say, hey, why isn't Jim not playing? Well, you know, Jim just has a little bit more development to do. And, you know, he just barely is at the, at the point where he could be starting, but we just need to get him over this hump. Stop fooling yourself, coaches, because you're not fooling the parents. I know you think you are. I know you think that the parents are that stupid that they're not recognizing what's going on or you just don't care because no one's holding you accountable. Administrations, you don't care because no one's holding you accountable. You have the stacked deck and boy, you're playing it too. You're playing it out, it's in house favor. 
the, the house is favored to win. Like at the casino, right? Start a GoFundMe. Your child will get more playing time. See you later.